Ooh, take a look at this word, wood. Wood. Do you know what this word means? Well, a lot of people recently have been asking me to make a lesson about this word. So, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you some things about the word wood. Hey, if you like getting tips like this, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel right down there. Okay, so the first thing I want to mention is that wood and wood are pronounced the same. Wood and wood. Here in Canada, houses are made out of wood. Okay, so this L is silent. It's not wooled, <laughs> it's just wood. Okay, now the second thing I want to mention is that very often uh, the word wood becomes contracted, contracted like this. Heed, that means he would. She'd, I'd, they'd, we'd, you'd, it'd. It'd. That sounds a bit weird. We probably wouldn't say it'd, but it's possible. It's possible to say it'd. Okay, for example, I'd love to visit you. I'd love to visit you. That means I would love to visit you. I would love to visit you. Or you'd have been in big trouble if you'd been caught. You'd have been in big trouble. That means you would have been in big trouble if you'd been caught. Look at this here. Does this one mean would? If you would been caught. No, this one doesn't mean would. This one is had. Had. Wow. Okay, look at this. Had can be a contraction to all of these words can be uh, had. He had, she had, I had, they had, right? So it can be both. It can be would or it can be had. It depends on the grammar of the sentence. Okay, so take a look at this example. You'd have been in big trouble if you'd been caught. So that one is would and this one is had. But if we have the word have after this word, like this, you'd have been, then this becomes would. Okay, if you would have been caught. So now they're both would. Before, if we take that word have away, then this one becomes had. Wow, English is crazy, right? English is a bit nuts. I don't even like teaching English. I don't even like English. Maybe I should stop teaching English and start teaching a different language. Ooh, which language should I start teaching next? Maybe uh, German. I like German, but German grammar is even harder than English grammar. Okay. So uh, let's look at this. She'd be rich if she'd started investing sooner. She'd be rich if she'd started investing sooner. So that means she would be rich if she had started investing sooner. Okay, so it can mean would and had. It depends on the grammar. Do you know about verb tenses? Okay, verb tenses. So this would be uh, she had started. This would be the past perfect verb tense. I have a whole series on verb tenses. If you don't understand verb tenses very well, that's okay. Um, the link to my verb tenses series is down there in the description. You can go watch that. Okay, so we also use the word would when we ask questions, just polite questions. Would you like to go out for dinner? Hey, would you like to go out for dinner? It's a very nice question. What would you do if you had a million dollars? What would you do if you had a million dollars? Now, very often people get these words mixed up. Would and will. What's the difference between would and will? Well, we use the word would when we talk about hypothetical situations. What's a hypothetical situation? That means we are imagining a situation, right? Like this. What would you do if you lost your job? What would you do if you lost your job? You didn't lose your job. You still have your job. But 
we're just imagining. What would you do? You know, sometimes we ask hypothetical questions to each other. What would you do if you had a million dollars? What would you do if you lost your job? Okay, then you could answer, I don't know what I would do. I guess I would try to find another job. I don't know what I would do. I guess I would try to find another job. Okay, now in real situations, a real life situation, we don't use would, we use will. Okay, like this. Uh, I'm sorry that you lost your job. What will you do? Okay, so if you lost your job, I would say, I'm so sorry you lost your job. What will you do? Okay, I can't say would here. What would you do? You know, because it's re this is a real situation. You did already lose your job. Okay, so we have to use the word will. But actually, in this question, it would be more natural to say, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, what are you going to do? <laughs> we use that word all the time in English. Gonna. What are you going to do? Okay, um, so you could say, I'm going to try to find another job as soon as I can. I'm going to try to find another job as soon as I can. You know, we also use the word would to talk about things in the past. It's sort of a past tense of the word will. Um, like this, okay? You told me you would visit me. Why didn't you? You told me you would visit me. Why didn't you? Okay, so that's you, okay? And you said, I will visit you tomorrow. Okay, yesterday you said this, I will visit you tomorrow. But you never came. So now I could say to you, uh, you told me you would visit me. Why didn't you? You told me you would visit me. Why didn't you? Okay, or take a look at this. Uh, at seven o'clock, you wake up and you look outside and you say, it's going to snow today. I think it's going to snow today. Okay, then if it snows, then later in the day, you could say, I knew it would snow today. I knew it would snow today. Okay, so here you're saying it will snow, right? Going to is the same as will, right? So you could say, I think it will snow today. And now it would. I knew it would snow. So it's sort of like a past form of the word will or going to. Okay. Now we often use the word would uh, in places where we could use do, right? Like this. Do you know the answer? Do you know the answer? Would you know the answer? Would you know the answer? Okay, so this one is more polite. People use the word would in situations when they're trying to be very polite. Excuse me, would you know the time? Excuse me, would you have the time? Okay, I might say that if, if you're a stranger and I want to know what the time is, I might say, excuse me, would you know what the time is? Or would you happen to know what the time is? Okay, would you know the answer? Would you happen to know what the answer is? Okay, so the word would is a very polite word. And, you know, sometimes we use it when we could use could as well. Okay, could you open the door for me? Could you open the door for me? Would you open the door for me? Would you open the door for me? Okay, so the only difference is that this one is just a little bit more polite. They're actually, they're both polite, but would is like the most polite. Excuse me, would you open the door for me? Would you open the door for me? Okay, we just, we use the word would when we want to be polite. Now, would uh, can also mean used to, used to, okay? When I lived in Berlin, I would drink beer every day. When I lived in Berlin, I would drink beer every day. That means, uh, I used to drink beer every day. When I lived in Berlin, I used to drink beer every day. Okay, so the word would can, can also be used to. Like you could say, when we were kids, we would play outside all day long. When we were kids, we would play outside. That means we used to play outside all day long. Hey, let's do some homework. I want you to make a sentence with the word would. Would. 
Okay, so there are different meanings for wood. It's actually a pretty confusing word because there are so many different ways we can use it, even different ways that I didn't talk about in this lesson. But I think, you know, for most most occasions, you know, just, we just we use the word wood to ask polite questions like would you like to come visit me? Um, we use the word wood to talk about like hypothetical situations. What would you do if Okay, so I think, you know, I covered most of the basic uses of the word wood. I hope that's helpful. So I want you to make a sentence with wood down there in the comments, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.